This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Mustang. Oh, we got a holiday road trip coming in, but I think right now it is time for a genuine tech question. Jeff writes in, love your show. I've been ripping a large collection of LPs I have, and some of them were a little rough. Is there any software I can use that will help clean up the quality of the audio? I'm importing them through GarageBand at the highest recording quality. Any help would be greatly appreciated. A lot of the LPs are one of a kind special cuts from a local artist and are no longer available. Thank you, Jeff. Well, probably the biggest issue you're going to come across from converting LPs into digital audio in your computer is that hissing and popping mm -hmm. and crackling noise that you get. All those artifacts from copying over from physical media, especially if your LPs are well loved. Yeah. Um, you already done yourself a service by starting out with the best possible audio quality that you can manage. So that's definitely going to help. Um, I'm assuming that most of the audio that you're working with, um, if not all, is music, which makes it a tiny speck tougher than just getting in there with an audio editor like GarageBand or Audacity and taking out those clicks and pops manually. Um, but Audacity, I know for a fact, can be pretty helpful with cleaning up hiss in music using the noise removal tool. Um, actually, I made a little sample. Let me show you on the computer real fast once I get this plugged in. I know, I should have had this set up before the show, but I got so so wrapped up in finishing my 50,000 word NaNoWriMo book. Congratulations, Thank by you. the way. Just That's finished amazing. a few moments ago. National Novel Writers Month is probably yes. to write a novel in the month of November, month and you have hit your goal of 50,000 words. I did. That's epic. My novel isn't completed yet, and we're digressing, but I'm going to continue writing and mm -hmm. hopefully finish it, but I did hit the minimum word count. How cool is So it? I can upload it now and get validated, and I'm good to go. But anyway, back to Audacity. <laughs> um, so we have the noise removal tool, if you want to see here. I did a little test. I, I ran the noise generator and uh, just a little bit of me talking and then put them together. Let's see if, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Let's see. Turning on the audio hello, in my head. Hello, 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 hello. That's creepy. So, but you can see basically like you can hear the hiss in the background. Right. Um, and so to, to, pull it out, we want to get the noise removal tool here. It's under the effect settings in Audacity. And then uh, you want to get your noise profile. So you click that, and then you highlight a section of the noise. Then you go back into the noise removal tool. And then you say, OK, sure, sounds good. And then you can see it took all that Whoa. noise out. And then if you want to select your entire audio file, you can do that. Go back up to effect, and then repeat noise removal. <laughs> that did that worked a little <laughs> a little bit better than expected. Um, I probably took a little bit too much out, but you can go back there. Let's but see. it's a process of experimenting. You isolate yeah. a pop. You that isolate didn't a work clip. exactly the way I probably. But you can go back and fiddle with it. Right. There's um, all sorts of little things you can do within the the tool itself. Uh, the um, you can go into frequency smoothing and the attack decay time. So fiddling with that mm -hmm. will definitely help you get it into that sweet spot of fixing it up. Um, uh, there are also some expensive, like really high end software suites out there that will do this all automatically as well. Like Pro Tools, of course, right. and SoundForge have like endless plugins for that kind of thing. There's also software like Dart Pro MT, which is about 300 bucks, that are built for noise reduction and fixing up old recordings. Um, Buy a Sound Soap is another good option, which also lets you clean up video files with yeah. lots of background noise. I've, I've used uh, Sound Soap a lot for cleaning up analog audio tapes because mm -hmm. they had a bunch of stuff on analog, like you know Bob Mould live acoustic concerts that I'll never get another copy of. And Sound Soap's actually pretty fantastic. Um, I think you got the right idea, though. Start with a, f a free tool like Audacity and, and work your way up. That seems like the smart thing to do to me. Yeah. Um, it's a good way to kind of get a feel for what you think is possible using right. free tools. And then if you want to go and, and do the trial versions of the noise reduction tools that are more expensive, that's <laughs> definitely a good way to see if they are the right solution for you before you throw down crazy amounts of money. And uh, I would hesitate, like the professional audio tools are good. Mm -hmm. A lot of the stuff is like LP dedicated. I did an article for PC World a few back a few years ago, and a lot of the tools I tested with, I just were atrocious. Um, uh, I would also say, because it's kind of funny, like uh, it's kind of funny, because if you take a look at uh, my actual favorite one, uh, out there uh, came as part of Microsoft's Plus Digital Media Edition. It was the audio recorder inside of there, uh, which is no longer made. That was the, the best automated one I saw. Um, mm -hmm. I also want to mention something. It's called RIAA Equalization. Uh, let's actually scroll down past the personal appeal from Wikipedia programmer Brandon Harris. Um, and it's really funny. If you don't, you can you can deal with this in software. Um, 
if you can deal with this in software, but RIA equalization is the compression. They basically started applying it. it replaced like a hundred different, every rec every recording company had their own compression they applied to analog LP recordings. Mm -hmm. But you really need to either apply a photo preamp effect inside your software or spend like 50 bucks, 30 bucks for a phono preamp when you're recording from a turntable. I got mine from photopreamps.com. They're cheap, they work really well. Uh, and, and your audio will be funny if you don't compensate for it. I fixed it better. Ooh. I took a better sample, so now you can hear if you want to show, show it on the, on the file. So there as it was before, and then if you want to do a redo, that looks better. And so that now was you can free. Hear. That was free in like five minutes of your time. Wow. So you hear a little bit of, of artifacts hello, still, hello, hello, hello. but it's, it's definitely, most of that hiss is gone. That's awesome. So that was without even, I wasn't fiddling with any of the settings, that was just taking a better sample of the hiss and working with that instead of the one I had earlier. I so think it makes a big difference depending on what sample of hiss that you get for the noise removal tool. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it. Yes. Ah! <laughs> Tripping <laughs> over a, cables back yeah, here. Yeah, right? <laughs> Got a tech question like this one? Want an answer? Send it over to Texilla at revision3.com. We will do our very best to help. Uh, coming up next, a $20 Mac hack. But first, let's thank one of our sponsors. Ford's back, sponsoring Techzilla again today. There is a ton of great technology built into all the new Fords, a lot of great features, but the one I've found most useful around our office, parking assist. Meter maids are usually out in force in our neighborhoods, so you've got to be pretty creative at times if you want to find a parking spot. The parking assist feature in the Mustang has allowed me to squeeze into a few spots that I might not have had the nerve to do without it. It's pretty cool. It beeps, and when it's done, it tells you it is so awesome. Thanks again to Ford and the 2012 Mustang for sponsoring Techzilla this week.